Hi guys, <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the Rolling Dreamers channel. We are now in Reykjavik, Iceland. We just landed and we finished to set up our bikes and we thought it might be useful for you to know what kind of setup we are using for this specific expedition. So for starting, we, uh, the bike we are using are the 3T Explorer Race Max. They're equipped with 27.5-inch uh, wheels with 2.1 uh, uh, tires, all tubeless. Matteo uh, is running the Barzo, and for this trip I will be trying the Vittoria Mezcal. So um, we will see how they differ in terms of rolling resistance and uh, uh, which will be our best fit for the next trips. And so Matteo, yes, let's walk, you, walk us through to the things you've packed in this bike. So on the front we mounted first time Il Coso by Miss Grape. Uh, it's a special bracket yes, that you, you put of, on the handlebar. Yes, where we can mount uh, the front light and uh, the GPS computer. Then we, we can mount on it uh, a front bag. Mm -hmm. This is uh, a trunk uh, 8 liters. We here inside we can uh, put usually like the first aid kit and uh, all the mechanical stuff that we make we need in case of mechanical. What are what are we you bring in Matteo for the mechanical like spare parts? We try to bring as much as we can actually. So everything for the uh, especially for the group set. Okay, so like uh, a, a spare cable for the. For the, the radiator, radiator, radiator yes, yes, it's always useful because you don't want to, if the cable uh, breaks, you don't want to get stuck <laughs> in the, not in the all, heaviest yes, gear. <laughs> yes, exactly, not at all. Then we have like uh, brake pads, we have uh, all uh, everything for the chain and uh, chain lube, of course. We have a lot of stuff. Uh, and then all the repairing kits for the tubeless exactly, stuff. So exactly. uh, plugs, uh, uh, we have also the BAM uh, yes, the kit for, bum, uh, yes. for, from Makov. Yes. And so this is what inside this uh, this dry bag in the front. Yes. Then going back, so you yes. have two uh, yeah. Miss Grape bud. Buds. Yes. Yeah. So these are what, probably the best um, bike bags uh, for easy access. So here we have uh, all the stuff uh, to charge, uh, like the phone, uh, if we need uh, the GPS computer, power bank and all the rest. We have some uh, knives uh, and uh, fire things in case. So of the, these things are actually bags that, of course, everyone uh, needs to fit as they as they, they they like. In terms of, you have to try which configuration you like the most and what items you would like to have more accessible. So the buds, for sure, together with the top tube, are the bags that are the easiest to access while riding. So you open up. You pick up things, you close and you keep going. Speaking about top tube bags. Top tube. This is uh, the, the longer version, right? Yes, it is. So it's the new longer version from Miss Grape. Exactly, it's the new long version. And uh, here, we, usually we stuff here all the food things. Oh, so bars uh, or everything we may need and we can find uh, along the way that uh, it's, uh, as we said, super easy access. Uh, uh, so you, you, you don't need to stop when you're riding, you just uh, Take, close, everything of course is uh, is waterproof. Yes. So both the um, the sides of the bag and the, uh, the zip is all waterproof, so you don't have to worry about getting things wet or if you're caught in the rain. And then, uh, then below the top yes. tube, you so have the here we have the frame bag. This is another bag that uh, it's easy to access. So usually here I stuff. Uh, everything I may need to fix an easy puncture. Like mm -hmm. the bum, I have uh, another bum here. I have some Gorilla tape uh -huh. and, uh, and the, some tools. Yeah, the plugs and, uh, for yes. the sticky plugs, the one that you have a puncture, you just press in the tire and it fixes basically the, the puncture. Yeah. When, when you need some extra loading capacity, yeah. like the fork bags are for sure something very, very useful. And which, uh, which size are these, Matteo? Uh, these are six liters, okay. each waterproof as well. And uh, usually here inside uh, we put uh, like the waterproof stuff, mm -hmm. that uh, ring, jacket or whatever we need. 
if it's, get, if it's getting cold or windy or rainy. And uh, you can put their uh, shoes as well because uh, sometimes, especially in Iceland, where probably it's gonna be raining. Yeah, raining is sometimes <laughs> when it's muddy. If you're running in a more like clean environment, like uh, clean gravel, you don't have to worry too much. But if you're running in mud and you're hanging like the shoes in the, in the saddlebag, they might get very dirty. So every time you stop, you would have to wet. clean <laughs> and, and wet. And, and wet. And moving on the back, on the saddlebag. Yes, so this is the uh, the biggest saddlebag uh, from his grape. It's 20 liters, so it's waterproof. It can get yes. really, I mean, it, it can accommodate a lot of things. Yes, yes, now it's like half loaded, yeah. but we will put all the rest of the stuff uh, as soon as we we leave from Reykjavik. I usually put in the, in the, um, in the saddlebag the, the things that I usually need in the evening once, once I stop. In the bottom, in this part here, there would be for sure the like the normal clothes that I use when, when, I, when I stop, and then going up, the things that I might need uh, during the ride. So usually, in the very top of the of the of the bag, there is the the puff jacket, like the the down jacket. Always handy to have it like on the top. So if you're getting cold, you stop for some reason, you open up, you put it, you put it on, and you're done. And the other things you don't need it always like in the in the lowest part. Last things about the bike, uh, the group set. Uh, we're gonna use uh, the here we have a Campagnolo Ecar, 13 speed. The chain ring is uh, uh, 38 teeth, and on the back we have uh, nine, the smallest, yeah, to 44, maybe, yeah. 44, the biggest. So it's gonna be like a, a good setup for uh, all of this trip. Yeah, so this is more or less what our, our, our bikes will look like for the next days for this trip. Uh, if you have any specific question about gear, about like what we're using and why we use it, and just drop a comment in the comment section or send us a direct message on uh, our Instagram account. So this is it. Very excited for this uh, Icelandic trip. Yes, sir. I mean, hopefully <laughs> Iceland will be like not too harsh on us in terms of weather. We are ready for everything, but let's see. Let's see. Yeah. What's can offer? Yeah. Okay. See you guys. Let's get rolling. Yeah.